What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're about to take a look at this enormous travel trailer. This is a Sundance Ultralight rear living room floor plan. This thing is simply huge. I would probably say it's upwards of about 38 feet long. This is definitely something that you're going to want to tow behind a three quarter ton or a one ton single rear wheel truck or even a dually. But let's take a look at the numbers on this. I'll be right back. Okay, so this travel trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,754 pounds. Honestly, I was expecting it to be heavier. This specific unit has a cargo capacity of 2,517 pounds, and it rides on 15-inch D-rated tires. Has a power front tongue jack, dual propane cans, has place for two batteries up here. Let's take a look at this front storage. Huge storage, very, very wide. It's probably three feet wide, maybe a little less than two feet tall. Nice aluminum flooring beneath. Looking underneath, this rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame, has manual style scissor jacks on the front and back for stabilization. It's gonna be the outside of your furnace, your sewer connections down here, Gonna have your black tank flush here and your city water connection right there. Plus, has a little spray port right here, which is really cool. Outside of your water heater. Underneath, it has standard equalizer. Runs Trailer King tires. Recommend upgrading all of that stuff within a couple thousand miles. Schwintech slide. This is the outside vent cover. You want to make sure that's open if you are going to be camping or cooking because that's how you get the air from the inside outside if you're ventilating the inside of your RV. Coming around back, cable satellite connection, and here looks to be 50 amp connection. Here are your rear stabilization legs. This has incandescent lighting. Really wish manufacturers would just put LED lighting on everything, to be honest. Incandescent lighting up top, wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Spare tire mounted to the bumper. It does not have a ladder back here. I'm sure it has a walk-on roof, at least I'm relatively sure, but there is no ladder to get to it, so you'd have to bring your own. On this side, it has a water fill. 110 connection there. And it has a rack and pinion slide on this side. Coming around. You can see the large awning that extends over the slide all the way to the back. Looks to be about a 20 foot awning. Plus your outside speakers here. And then here's the other side of your storage. Again, very good size storage. Has the Moride step above steps. Let's take a look inside of this Sundance 293 RL. Okay, so here it is. This is a huge rear living room floor plan. Very, very much reminiscent of what you would expect to see in a fifth wheel. Extremely different style faucet for the kitchen. Very contemporary. Has a booth style dinette which can convert into a bed. Plus you have storage underneath it on both sides. It does not have the darkening roller blinds. Instead it has the pleated style shades that pull down and push up. Kind of wish it had the other style shades. Has reclining love seats with cup holders on each side. This is going to fold out into a bed here in the back. Huge window. Lots of cabinets up top. I like they put little struts here to hold it up as well. Nice end tables here with power connections also. Have a nice flat panel TV up front. No fireplace, which is also interesting. Plenty of storage. Again, very fifth wheel style. Typically the exact interior you would expect to see in most fifth wheels. Compact microwave. Gas electric three burner cooktop. Nice drawers though. 
on this side it has a good size island i generally prefer when they put the sink at one end so it gives you more unobstructed island space but not too bad now this is interesting this cutting board if you don't put it on right it doesn't really give you much room to actually lift it out so so something that's interesting here is this little nub that you used to pull the cutting board out kind of hard to get out because of the dual basin sink the fact that this is right here prevents you from really grabbing this this hole would have been better maybe here in the corner or just gone to a single basin sink this has a Norcold I believe it's a 12 volt refrigerator lots of drawers cabinet space here very interesting long storage space right here then more cabinets above nice nice countertop space here perfect for you got it coffee station let's work our way here to the bathroom which is again very reminiscent of a fifth wheel very nice size shower this is cool that's a very very nice hopefully durable shower door nice area for towels good place to hang your bathrobe plus you have some more storage right here nice size medicine cabinet you have three drawers down here and it has a plastic toilet stepping back into the bedroom or stepping to the front, I guess. You have closets on both sides of the queen size bed. I don't know if you have a king size option in here, mainly because typically when the cabinets are already built out like this, you're not gonna have the option. If you did, there'd be space on each side of the bed. So let's just say for now, queen size only. Cabinets above has a Coleman mock air conditioning system here in the bedroom and it is ducted. You have your power and cable connections here. And you have some more wardrobe space here as well with three drawers beneath it overall it's a really nice layout and interesting they put the air conditioning controls right there above your head which i think is actually pretty convenient this unit has an msrp of forty four thousand four hundred and seventy six dollars and the sale price on a unit like this is probably going to be closer to thirty thousand dollars but you're gonna have to call them to find out. Specifically, they don't have it posted in here. And of course, prices can change based on availability or even if they don't even have this specific unit anymore and they have a different one with some different amenities in it. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.